Let's finish off by looking at the all class melee options. These weapons are used by every class, with a few exceptions for Spy and Engineer. All these weapons match stats with the stock melee options for the class. The Saxi is an Australian plated statuette of Saxton Hale that is handed out to winners of the Saxi Awards. It's an obvious reference to the Oscar Awards. Killing a player with one turns them into a gold statue. Deleting one broadcasts a message to all in-game players. The frying pan is, well, a frying pan. It's a promo item for Left 4 Dead 2 and is based off a weapon in the game. If you want to get technical, it's a seasoned cast iron skillet, but let's be honest here. I call it a frying pan, you call it a frying pan too. It also makes a really loud noise when you hit it and stuff. It's usable by everyone except the engineer and spy. The conscientious objector is a wooden sign that appears to be in taken off something. The name is a reference to a conscientious objector, someone who refuses military service due to their beliefs. The sign and its name is a reference to protest signs on sticks, common during the era TF2 was set. You can apply an image to the section with paper using a decal tool, often to a humorous effect. The Freedom Staff is an Aquila that appears to have been ripped off a larger pole. An Aquila, Latin for Eagle, is a symbol that was prominent in ancient Rome, often used as a standard for Roman militaries. The weapon was a promo item for those who purchased the Total War Master Collection. Once again, it's usable by everyone except for the Engineer and Spy. The bat out of hell is a skull attached to a segment of spine. It has four different styles. Universal, Scout, Demo Man, and Soldier. Its name is a reference to the phrase bat out of hell, normally used to describe something happening very quickly. It's also the name of a song by Meatloaf. It can be used by everyone except the engineer and spy. The Memory Maker is a triple rotating 8mm camcorder with a loose lever. It's awarded to those who place in a Saxi award but didn't win the Saxi. It resembles the Arco 8 handheld with a bit more heft to it. It's usable by everyone except the Engineer and Spy again. The Ham Shank is, well, a Ham Shank. It's a chunk of ham still attached to the bone. It was a promo item for the game Don't Starve, and is based off the ham bat from the game. It appears to be in cook since there are visible grill marks. It's usable by everyone except the, guess who, engineer and spy. The Necro Smasher is a big wooden mallet with a robotic hand gripping onto it. On the map Carnival of Carnage, the world's largest strongman machine has a much larger version of this weapon, and the Horseless Headless Horseman uses a version of this weapon for the minigames. It's usable by everyone except for the spy. Engineer's okay this time. The Crossing Guard is a railroad crossing sign with flashing lights. How are they flashing? I don't know. This was the only weapon added in the infamous end of the line update. Its name comes from the job of a guard who opens and closes gates at a railway crossing. Once again, it's usable by everyone except the engineer and spy. The Pruny Machete was a promo item for the game Disgaea PC. It's based off the knife used by the Pruny characters from the game. Apparently they're supposed to be the reincarnation of sinful human souls. Yeah. Everyone can use this weapon. Go on, build a sentry with it. I won't stop you. 
Oh, by the way, this was the only weapon added in Meet Your Match. The Golden Frying Pan is a very rare dropped item gained from completing an advanced or expert tour of duty in Man Up Man vs Machine. This is the only weapon that can turn players into gold that can be attained outside of events or handouts. It has the reputation of being one of the most desired items in the game, both for status and memory. All hail the Golden Pan. Just like with the Golden Wrench and Saxy, deleting one of these sends an announcement out to all players who are currently in-game. Unlike the regular frying pan, this one can be used by all classes. Alright, that's all the weapons done. Thanks for watching and thanks for the feedback. As I said in the first video, I'm not a weapons person, so I have made a few mistakes along the way. I have been taking in all the feedback and I will eventually make a video going through corrections and additions I could have made. So once again, thank you for watching. I'm planning to go back to the weird map series, but also span out a look at some Gary's Mod and Counter-Strike Source maps. I may come back to this item origin series for cosmetics or even taunts eventually. Hmm, now that I think about it, I should have included taunts with all the weapons. Oh well, maybe for next time. That can be its own big long video.